Hello. <laughs> That's a good question. I'd say Anne Sylvia. Yeah, I would say that Lola is the most fun in the world. George actually does. They hang out all the time. They go on crazy mountain hikes with skis, without skis, and they just do all of this crazy stuff together. And I think Lola really enjoys hanging out with George. She should prefer me as I was the one rescuing her and Silva is the one giving her the most food, the most cuddles and I am the more strict one I think so Lola likes and Silvia more. I don't give her the freedom that George gives her. If she wants she can run on top of the mountain and come back to him. And I don't normally do that. I can go with her without the leash but I don't give her the same freedom as George does and therefore I think they have a stronger connection than I have with Lola. <laughs> so the thing with the van is that it's really old, it doesn't have like steering help or control, so you have to do everything manually. And if the car is still and you have to like turn it really quickly or like small amount of space it's really hard and really tough and it normally takes me quite a while to like turn the whole thing so because of that I would say George is the better driver that's an easy one that's me I definitely owe the van way more than Sylvia does I drive 95% of the time and I've crashed way less times than so has. So yeah, I'm the best driver. Ooh, that's a hard one. We two, both of us, have really good taste in music. I have better music taste than George. Definitely. Sylvia listens to a bit more popish, fast going. I think I listen to a bit more classics, like pretty much everything from Elton John, Johnny Cash to Jimi Hendrix. Uh, definitely a lot of new things. Bands like Portugal the Man, Generationals. So I actually go for a 50-50. We both have awesome music tastes. I always find really cool indie low-key bands. Whereas George always listens to the same music, like Bob Dylan and... Or he goes really extreme and listens to classic music and opera and stuff. And I have a really huge variety or huge spectrum of different kinds of music that I listen to. And most of the time I have more of a variety. So that's much more funnier than, for example, George steering the music whenever we're driving somewhere because then he ends up playing the same album for maybe 10 times and it's really boring and yeah I am mostly just put on music that makes me feel good and that's why I got the better music taste <laughs> <laughs> Easy one, that's on Sylvia um, I like to say I have a system and I like to pretend I have a system and I like to try to have a system, but I actually don't have any. Well, I mean, George has his sites where he's really organized, for example, his computer. But then again, it's too organized, so you never really find anything anyway. Because there's so many maps and there's so many different systems that it's just too organized. Um, I, on the other hand, doesn't, I don't have a lot of systems, but my messy system really works for me and I know where everything is So I guess that makes me the more organized one And Sylvia is the complete opposite. She she kind of doesn't care about system very much But she has it. She's well organized and she knows where her stuff is. Hands up for that. That's 
something I really admire. Actually, I like to split that one because we we're very different, but we're very good at it at the same time, both of us. As a child, I didn't really learn or develop myself a lot. So now when I start new things, for example, skiing or like sports or drawing and stuff, I learn it really, really quickly. And I don't think that's necessarily because I'm smarter. It's just because I haven't learned it and it's a normal thing to do. It's me. Simply because I pick up things really fast. Um, especially when it comes to learning from videos, text, technical shit. But based on what we already know and what you learn or proceed from that, yours is definitely better. So for example, when he picked up his first camera, it took him maybe one week to fully know all the aspects of it and really master the art of photography. Maybe the, the technical part a week and the photography a month. Well, we always learn, but he became really good really quick. Whereas I needed a lot of time. Actually, and Silva is really good in small things where she has to use her hands a lot. Um, anything like sewing and design and small pickery things, but generally I think I'll learn the fastest um, as I, I have huge range of skills and I just wouldn't say that I learned the most. I think we're really good at learning both of us but at different aspects so I like to split it half point each. <laughs> That's a funny question. That was... I don't even remember. Who was it? I would say it was really or the interest was really mutual from both sides but George is really on like on everything so whenever he sees somebody or wants to greet somebody he greets everyone so in that kind of sense I don't feel he took the first initiative even though he he was the first to say hello that was me. Yeah, that was me. I think it was on the school execution, ex school trip, field trip, where I kind of set up a little date night for her. We didn't kiss that time, but I definitely took the first steps. Ahead. And after that, I always, or after our first meeting or our first eye lockdown. I feel that both of us was really on and we like felt an instant connection or we're just attracted to each other. Um, that being said, I think George had a more aggressive approach and that's why I would give him this one. He took the first initiative. Even though we both like just said hello because we were first two in a class. So maybe our teacher was the one who made us do the first initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I think we both are people who crave a lot of attention. We both have our sides and we got both get a bit like itchy. Um, so that's a new 50-50. That's definitely George. He needs a lot of attention. Maybe I crave more like romantic attention, like cuddles and kisses and hugs sometimes. But he is on another level than me again. I may be needy, but he is really needy. I would say I am the most caring. Definitely. That's probably on Sylvia. She thinks about other people all the time. Just thinking about gifts generally, Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. I I always say I'm gonna do it, but I never end up doing it. And Aunt Silva is always prepared, she always has a present. And probably because she's a good organized person, she kind of has her list and her thoughts and she completes them down, down to the end. So yeah, she is definitely 
the most caring. He's really care face. If he doesn't like you, if he doesn't know you, yeah, he is mostly not really caring, except for me. He really cares about me, and that makes me really happy. That's on Sylvia. That's on Sylvia, definitely. I can't count all the numbers of times when she freaks out something about if it's she has kind of this social anxiety. She sometimes the phone rings and she goes, and so, George, can you please pick up for me? I am definitely a lot more anxious than George. He's never worried, and if he's worried, it's really extreme, and I'm like panicking. Whereas I mostly am really anxious, whereas he is really careful. It's George, but I think me being anxious and George not being it is a really good thing because we can balance each other out because I don't want I don't necessarily want to be anxious and he's really good at comfort comforting comforting me and like helping me let loose whereas sometimes I feel like he needs to be more anxious and care more about his actions um, in that sense I feel like we balance each other really well out so guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and if you want more oh, <laughs> If you want more videos like this, please comment your questions below because we need more questions for our next one because we want to do a longer one or maybe you didn't find our questions funny then send us some funnier one and we'll try to figure out which one we like and use them in our next video See you around next time <laughs> Bye. Oh, no. okay. It's approved. It's done. <laughs>